Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I am up today with Panalisa. And Panalisa has sent me quite a lot of stuff so it's going to take a few minutes to get through it. But she always sends me a personal little package and uh, I usually get enamel dots or something but this time I've got a tiger. Isn't that cute? I really love that. It's all squishy and pudgy. I'm going to put that on my key ring. So, Panelisa, if you're watching, thank you very much. Right, so uh, let's get stuck in. Now, first up, I was sent three of these. And I'm going to open one so that we get an idea of what they are. So we've got flower letters. That's what they're called, yeah, rumour flower letters. Uh, have a good day. I think they're probably done by number, by number or by image. I'm trying to find that out. No, I think you're just going to have to go to the website and look at the images. So we've got this one here. I'll open the flowers because, as you will see, there's, a, there's an awful lot in these. Now you get this lovely piece of printed vellum. Oh, I don't want to tear that. If that will slide off. Oh no. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to get my scissors, I think, and cut it. I'm going to do it carefully so that I can use it because that's lovely. Right. So, first up, it comes sealed with this beautiful piece of vellum. That is so pretty. So I'm going to find other uses for this and each one comes wrapped with that. So me going in upside down because that's what I do. I hope that you can see that and my camera is not blurred. So you've got this beautiful texture, almost like wallpaper. That's the way that I'm going to describe it. So you're getting different designs, which looks like two of each. They're really, really pretty. I'm going to be using an awful lot of this stuff this week because, of course, I have glimpsed at my dyes. Love that watercolour rose. Those are just really pretty. And I hope my camera isn't going wild. But if I can get a close-up, that is just gorgeous. And if you love doing, um, you know, vintage configuration boxes and things like that, this is going to make great wallpapers to go um, into the backs of those. Really love that. But as you can see, there's just lots and lots of different designs. Great one there with scissors and clocks. Another really pretty one. So I'm trying to get close, hope you can see the texture. It's very matte. And uh, it's thin, but it's kind of, it's still got that texture of wallpaper. Oh, I like that one. I thought I saw strawberries, but it's not. It's little red roses. Strawberries on the brain. Oh, and that's pretty as well. Right, so I'm going to be using a lot of this this week, so you will get to see those. Now... I'm trying to see how many pages are in there because it's an awful lot. I can see the size. No, it doesn't tell you, but I bet there's a hundred pages there if I sat down and counted it. So that's what I'm going to say, that there's a hundred pieces. So I'll spread those out there. Right, next up I've got a paper pack called Memories and rather than open them all I'm going to get focused with my camera and just move slowly along so that you can see what you get in each of these packs so that's a lovely vintage and you can see there there we go lovely Wedgwood blue and that is almost a Wedgwood design isn't it that's really pretty so that one is called Memories, and it's 6x6, six six, 160 GSM. 
And then next up she sent me Sweet Life, which is a lot sort of richer shades. It's a great one for doing Christmas or picnics there. And you've also got a peachy coloured sprinkles. That's a really nice plaid. It's a dark, rich forest green and red. And then the back sheet on that one is showing the plaid. So that one is called Sweet Life. And then we have one called Garden. Lovely dark rich colour again. Great brick wall sheet in there. Let's see how close we can go. There we are. We've got music. We've got butterfly wings. We've got flowers. We've got stripes. And we've got wood grain. So, you know, if you're somebody that likes to do stuff with your wood grains and bricks, you've got both of those in there. So you've got the floor and the wall, so to speak. Great pack. And the back sheet on that one is, I don't know, what would you call that? Flur flur flurry sort of, I don't know, there's a word, flourish. Thank you, yeah. My dog is looking at me and he's telling me flourish. <laughs> Bless him. There we go. Charcoal grey and a vintage sort of antique white. And then the next pack is called Honey Flowers. And uh, who doesn't love doing stuff with bees? So we've got gorgeous daisies. We've got ladybirds and bees here. You've got a paintbrush kind of daisy. You've got poppies. Ooh, lemons. Love lemons. And then we've got um, a grey bee and more daisies, more bees. You've got the honeycomb and very painterly bees. And then the back of that is the grey bee. Really nice. And then we've got Thanksgiving. So we've got all those lovely autumn shades. We've got mushrooms, pumpkins and foxes. Autumn leaves. That one's more Christmas. That looks like holly to me. And then you've got acorns and you've got that gorgeous plaid. That's a great one for Christmas too. Next up she sent me good night. <laughs> well, no, actually, good morning. But we've got the little panda bear. We've got the rabbits and elephants here. You've got the suns and the moons. You've got crowns. You've got sweet little foxes and rabbits. Really pretty flowers. A lovely star pattern. I'm trying to get uh, get everything into focus. There we go. And that really sweet plaid. Really nice pad. And then we've got Meow, which is all the kitty cats. So we've got fish bones. We've got paws. These are great. If you've got a tiny little punch, you could punch those out. You've got that lovely tweed. You've got the great bright dots. And you've got the backs of all the cats, which is cute. Paw print and a heart. That one, of course, could be used for Valentine's Day. hope my voice isn't going off camera. I'm kind of looking to see that the camera is focusing and I have to turn my head to do it. Now we've got Coffee Lover. And that is seriously coffee, isn't it? We've got great cups. You've got great coffee advertising, lovely coffee background paper, that coffee coloured plaid. You've got the dots, that's a great one. And then you've got a coffee, I think that might be coffee instructions or just, um, what do you call them? Coffee blobs and bits and bobs. Well, you've got the chalkboard one as well. So that's a great pack. Oh, what's on the back? We've got coffee cups on the back. That's quite retro. I really like that. And then in the paper pads, we have back to school. So we've got the um, the script. We've got the crayons. We've got the dots. You've got all of the, the paint palettes and rulers. You've got a great apple one. That can also be used for Thanksgiving. Another great plaid. So you've got little push pins, stars, grids, and paper clips. And then onto the back of this one, we have the grid. And that's a kind of orange. So if I turn it kind of out of the light, you get to see a truer colour. So those are the paper packs. Right, now, 
what I'm going to do is move some of those paper packs down a bit so that we're not getting too close to the camera and then next up we have packs of stickers and these are all Alice in Wonderland themed so I fear I'm going to have to open every single one so that you can see what's going on here and then I'll just pile them up so I'll just pop that one there so these are like a semi sheen sticker these are going to be great on ATCs that's a great one the Queen you've got the gorgeous Harlequin border you've got the rabbit so basically in here just making sure that I'm getting it right I'm putting my finger here yeah I'm separating them so we've got the Mad Hatter we've got Alice and the card pack we've got the Queen making sure she's not stuck to anything we've got Alice who I think she's drunk something at that point because uh, she's looking a lot taller and then we've got Alice who's about to go through the door now that she's shrunk down and we've also got the Curiouser and Curiouser, which is the rabbit. And we've also got a long strip, which is basically the chapter. So you can get a good idea of the true colours there. And I'm putting that one to there. And then next up is another Alice. So I'm opening this one as well. all these out put the package down and I'll start with the biggest one and that is the Queen that's a great image love that and then you've got these which of course can be used on bookmarks so you've got Alice and you've got the King of Hearts you've got the um, oh what's he called I've forgotten what he's called the page that's it you've got the page that's a nice little one so that you can stamp whatever you want to on there and then we've got little tag shapes Let's get close up that's really pretty and then you've got a heart name place which is really cute and then we have King of Hearts again and we also have the Queen there we are so those are really cute stickers and then going off Alice now I'm going to layer that one on top of that one and we've got a Queen package and they all come in these lovely textured uh, pockets so I'm just opening that up and getting the stuff out. Just trying to be careful here because these ones are larger. I put my pocket down. And we start with this one, and it's a lovely crackled rose frame sticker. And then we have a princess looking character which is really pretty lovely crackles wallpaper behind and then we have another princess it looks like the same lady doesn't it lovely crackled frame again and then we have a lovely what would you call that Baroque, Baroque frame and roses and a little bit of crackle going on with that one and then last but not least we have the lady on the horse all of those different colours in that wallpaper just really lovely and it's finished with a crown at the top so that bit of your sticker is actually higher and of course for people who don't like having a white border on stickers you can just guillotine it off and then you can just fussy cut around that little bit there so you know you do not have to have a white edge on your sticker if you do not want to right and now we've got this one which looks a bit Victorian corsity, corset, corsetry yeah 
Don't expect good vocabulary out of me first thing in the morning. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I could just about think for myself. Right. So pop that one down there. And we've got little uh, cameo pieces. Yeah, I think that's the right way around. So you can pop these onto bookmarks or inside of your books. A little rose one with a lace frame. And then another little rose one. Let's get that in there. There we go. And then we have a nice little strip. Perfect size for ATCs, these, these ones. And then you've got the gorgeous corset. Could you imagine wearing that? I couldn't. I don't think I'd be able to bend over to do the laundry. <laughs> and then we have another really pretty one. Oh, let's get in close. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous. Then we've got a pretty blue background. And then we've got a blue one on a kind of greeny blue background. Right, so that is my papers and my stickers. I'm just going to pause, clear the table and come back with the dies. Right, all nice and tidy again. And I'm first up with this one. I'm putting it down sideways because it's huge. This is a gingerbread house with all of the layers you've got the candy canes and the candies you've got the windows uh we've got a door there that's embossed into it you've got the layering piece for the roof with all of those shingles another window and you can see the easel card section that comes off here so basically you cut the base twice and then you'll connect it and you'll end up with that. I think I'll do this one tomorrow. This one is very big, so I'm going to measure it. So if I get my ruler into the top section there, looking at where we are down here with those scroll pieces, I'm going to go off edge to make sure that this is correct on the size of this house. Because you get an outer frame and then all the layering pieces. That is nine and nine eighteenths of an inch. That's how big the base is. And then the roof line is the widest point. I normally go from the cut line to the cut line. And that is four and a quarter inches. So what I'll do is we'll make this one tomorrow so that we can see exactly what we've got. And uh, then the uh, made up measurements. So this will go into a regular die cutting machine. I do believe. Well, I'll be putting it into my regular die cutting machine and we will find out. So gingerbread house with all of those gorgeous layers. Right, next up is, ah, this is like a diorama card. So I'm going to be busy doing shaped cards this week. Try and do this one for, um, what day are we at? We're at Monday. <laughs> I told you, don't, don't rely on me for anything. I don't even know what the day of the week is. So this one will be on Wednesday. So you've got this lovely diorama, you've got the tabs, you've got the hills, you've got a cute little reindeer, Santa going through the sky, and you've also got a little house there. You've got trees, smaller house, and you've even got happy holidays. Oh, and more trees and a little snowman. There's another house there as we flip it over. Now, it's important to know how big this is going to be when it's made up. And I know that it would collapse over to one side so maybe I shouldn't be measuring it yet but I'm going to tell you that made up I believe that this is going to be let me get that correct five and three quarter inches when when completely made up five and three quarter inches 
and then I'm going to go on the cut line here down to there by four and three eighths of an inch. So that is a fabulous size again. So that is that one. Right, next up, and I've got this gorgeous stitched mushroom. Look at that. Oh, that's just so cute. Every single bit of it is stitched. You've got a little window. You've got the, the back piece. That's the layer that goes over on it. That is so cute. Really love that. Next up is a bag full of lots of bits. Now, I think this might be a box. I'm not 100% sure. We've got congrats. We've got happy birthday, or should I say happy B day. So we've got sentiments going on in here. And we've also got friends. And if I fold it over, we've got similar shape again. So I'm going to say that this is a box. I'm quite happy to be wrong, but I think it's a box. But I will go and have a look on the website. And everything is linked below, so you get to go and see it anyway. But you've got um, a cake as well here. So one to go and have a look at. And then we have, I believe, these are candles. These are candle pots. And you've got poinsettia and you've got greenery. And this bit here is the drippy bit for the candle. So that's really cute. Another one to be made. And then we have this one. Um, I'm thinking that this is a tag. Tag box. Or maybe a whole box. That might be where the, um, the hanger goes through. I'm going to have to look at that one too. I love opening a bag and not knowing what's in it. This looks again like a charcuterie board. And, you know, I may be wrong. It may be a vase. If I turn it that way around, so that could be a vase. I do not know. We've got um, half of the butterfly wing. We've got a flower. We've got the other half of the butterfly. These pieces, I do not know. So I'm going to have to go and look for them. And then we've got best here. And then, of course, we've got a hashtag. So I'm going to go and find that one and uh, link it below. And then look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Big, lacy, layering teacup. And once again, it's huge. You've got a gorgeous scallop edge on the saucer. And you've also got the lovely scrolls on the handles. And you've got these little notched pieces, which means this layers into this. So it actually goes all the way back like a diorama. And we've got tea, coffee, and I think that says lover. So you can have tea lover or a coffee lover. Yeah, that's really pretty. And once again, it needs to be made because, you know, you can't guess all those pieces need to go together and then next up we have that looks like a file folder to me I can see a tab and then we've got other tabs we've got little name plates oh and we've got um, a picture slide which is one of my favorite things and then we've got lots of numbers lots of little labels and uh, of course that's something I'm definitely going to make because I do love picture slides so that's that one. And then we have, ah, I actually asked for this one because I just love it. I just thought it would make really great ornaments to hang on the tree because they look like traditional, um, you know, you pop them on a stick or you use a piece of string and they're like little puppets and you use brads to hold on the arms and the legs. And I think that one is the lion mane. So you can have a lion, you can have a bear. I think you can turn that into a cat or a pig and a rabbit and you've got all of the legs. So I really like that and I'll be making that one. And um, that would actually be quite nice to do in a Dollar Tree foam boards. But my Dollar Tree doesn't have any at the moment. So I'm going without. So I'll just have to cut those in cardstock. And then I've got another huge one, and I can measure this because it's a whole piece. And it's the Christmas fireplace. You can 
pop whatever you want there, stamp your sentiment, and you've got all of your lovely Christmas stockings. That's really lovely. And you could, of course, use the um, the brick wallpaper if you wanted to that come in that brick pack to uh, do that at the back. But this is a large die, so let's have a look. Now, there is one thing that's seven inches that I must tell you that I've just noticed by... Four and four and seven eighths, a fraction over, and that is this cuts into it, doesn't cut out. You can crop it out afterwards, but this is a die that will cut into. So, I'm gonna have to do that to show you exactly what I mean. So, you're gonna need to use a sheet of cardstock that is bigger to get that design whether you wanted to cut into or just trim it out yourself afterwards. But that's an awesome size. It really is. And I did measure it that way. But I'm just checking. Yeah, gorgeous size. So I'm going to have to do that one. And then I was sent a little bottle, which is lovely. It's a shaker bottle that comes with a lid. And things like this, you know, you can stamp in them. Um, as well as just use your sequins and things. And I'm doing the cut line here, and we are at three and a quarter inches. And then we have this lovely uh, diorama style card again. And it's got, I think these are pop up tabs. I'm not sure. Once again, I'm going to have to make this so that we can see. But it's a big snow globe. You've got the tree. You've got the packages that will cut a border there, and you've got a couple of labels. So we're going to have to do this one to have a look at it. And then I was sent, hey, oh, these are huge. These are layered up pumpkins. So you've got all of the pieces there to layer them up. And I know it's a pumpkin because I spotted this one. It's not that I'm clever or anything. I wasn't sure when I first saw it. <laughs> so I think that piece layers onto this piece and then that piece layers on top of that piece. Or well, that piece goes on that piece. Yeah. So I'm going to have to make those and find out. And then halloween -y again. These could be Halloween or Thanksgiving, but these are Halloween and these are layering skulls. And these are also huge. So I don't know if that makes one or two skulls. I've got the feeling it makes two skulls. Maybe I'm wrong. I've got the feeling it makes two separate skulls. But we'll just measure one because they all seem to be the same size. Two and, let's, let me get that correct, two and a quarter inches. That's how high that skull is. But as I said, I'm not sure if that layers up to make one or two, but I'll do it and find out. And then I was sent a very sweet little car. Little cars are gorgeous. You know, they can go um, onto a card if someone's just learnt how to drive. You can put a Christmas tree on the top and make it a Christmas car. I'm going to say that that is three and seven eighths. Or it can go on a child's car if you've got any hill dies you know you can have your little car going over the hill with your clouds and your sunshine and then i've got this gorgeous little gnome that's really sweet he's holding out a banner that says noel and these are the hands i believe and those are the feet and i'm not sure what that is probably the moustache so if i turn it over yeah, it's better for me from behind. So we've got a moustache, we've got two feet, we've got two hands, we've got a banner, we've got a nose, uh, we've got the beard, we've got the um, the clothing, and then we've got the hat. So that one is going to look really, really nice going back down the bottom of my pile with my mushroom. So I'll be doing those two together. So I'll put those there. 
and then I'll send a milk and cookie bottle. So we've got the bottle of milk, we've got the straw, and we've got the cookie here, and there's a couple of little smiley faces that you can cut out to go with that. And then I'll set a package um, of them all together. Now, Panelisa does this when everything is listed on the same page. So I'm going to make sure that I put my plastic bag down on top so that I know when I do them that they're all on the same page. Right, we have a Christmas swag here, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a piece of poinsettia that layers on and it's got its um, little bead berry bits and other small flowers. I'm just going to shake that over there and then shake that bit down to there so that you can see the whole thing will cut and layer up. That's a really easy one to do. And I'm grabbing the ruler again because this is the solid back piece and that is five and one eighth of an inch. So that's a great size. And then in there is a Christmas cracker, a Christmas stocking. Look at that beautiful snowflake. And then we've got the lovely top that goes on the stocking. I think those are the ends that go. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to have a look at the website again. But I think these are the ends that go onto the cracker to make that decorative. And then you've got a little bands there. So I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to find out. But that's Snowflake. That is so pretty. That's going to be cut in foil. And of course you've got a little bow and a little star. And then in that same package, I've got Christmas bells. I've got bows. I've got holly. Um, more holly. And then we've got mistletoe. And then we've got greenery. So... You can see that those bells will emboss. And of course, you can keep your piece in the die, use your ink, and uh, go through to get a stenciled effect. Right, so that is what I've got for you today. And oh my goodness, that was a long video. We are more than half an hour. And if you stuck with me for half an hour, I do thank you so much. I admire your patience. Yes, I do. But have an absolutely awesome day and be up tomorrow with the gingerbread house. Thanks so much for watching. As usual, all links below. Bye.